Hello guys, B here and today we're gonna be making a super fun shaker car. I am using this dye from Stamp Anything. My super sweet stamp set is the Spring Fairies from Sweet November stamps. And also I am gonna be using this confetti mix. And if you have not checked the confetti mixes that Sweet November stamp makes, and you're a fan of Sweet November stamps, you must check them out. I will show you what they have. So here are some of the confetti mixes that they have some of these may not be available because um they are from past releases and the fun thing about their confetti mixes is that they match the stamp sets so it is super neat to use the same uh, sequence mix or confetti mix however you call it with your stamp set and since i adore sweet november stamps i just have to have everything <laughs> but here i am showing you this one is it was for st patrick's day they have the little um like the same as the stamps in like a tiny sequence i would say um these ones are perfect for mermaid that's coming up soon then we have for the coffee lovers and this one coming up is one of my favorites i love fairies so this one has that those little fairies this one is from a past release but you can still get this one and um they glow in the dark like the stars and the moon i think it's so so neat uh there's a stamp set that has wolves that you can oh, use this one so good and then this one again for mermaids stock up you guys because mermaids coming soon and i am so excited <laughs> then you have for the dog lovers like me and then for cat and this one is also from the um the past halloween release these three actually and i really really like them i try to use them as little as possible <laughs> because i don't want to run out <laughs> but let's go ahead guys and get started so the very first thing I did here was cut with my die the outside, like the frame of what's going to be my window for my shaker. Um, then I cut a piece of cardstock to match. And don't worry because in the um, description box below is everything that you need to know. I am using this 3 Distress Oxide to color my cardstock and I am going to speed through this part it is really easy I just go back and forth with my inks um, to get a really nice blend between them and I will see you at the end Now for the outside frame of my card, I am going to use the exact same three inks, but I am gonna mix them a little bit with water. And with a brush, I just mix the water with the ink and flicker all over my uh, cardstock. And I'm gonna repeat this same thing with the three inks. I also decided to add some distress spray, spray stain. This is the brush pewter and I never use the nozzle. Um, I prefer to create those drops like 
Vita and not so much the spray. I mean, I'm not, if, if you like that, go ahead and go for it and do it. But I feel like I have more control when I use the nozzle, like the straw of the nozzle, or sometimes I just use also my brush. After it's dry, this is how it looks like. I absolutely love the shine that brush pewter gives it. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the sentiment to the background. For this part, I am using my Misty just in case that I have to re-ink my sentiment. I am just going to add my background paper to the Misty, but I'm also going to add the window part because I don't want my sentiment to be placed uh, where the window part is and then it's covered and it, it's not gonna be able to see it. So I am just placing my window part here and positioning my stamp exactly where I want it to be. Then I'm gonna remove that window part of my card, the scallop part that we cut with our die, and um, stamp my sentiment with Memento Tuxedo Black. Now that that part is done, we're gonna go ahead and build our window. And for this, I'm gonna be using score tape or double-sided tape along the edge and then um, just add the acetate. To add my acetate, I really don't measure it. I just grab whatever piece of acetate I have that I think um, my window is gonna fit and I just glue it down and cut around it. Now I have this tool and it's supposed uh, to get rid of the static. Um, so your sequence doesn't stick to the acetate sometimes it works for me sometimes it doesn't uh, i don't use it all the time because sometimes it leaves a film like a powdery film even though i'm not using much powder in this case it seemed that it worked I am going to link it below because it still works. Uh, maybe it's just user error <laughs> and not this tool, um, you know. <laughs> so now for the um, window of my uh, shaker card, I am going to be using these uh, foam tape. It is from Barely Art. I absolutely love this that it comes pre-cut and perfect for our shaker cards and since I am a shaker card addict like I could make shaker cards all day long so I always buy this and I will link it down below. And this is how my shaker um, looks for now. Now we're gonna go ahead and stamp our fairies and the grasshopper and color it. To stamp my images, I am using again my Misty just in case that I have to stamp again. And here I was figuring out which of the three fairies I wanted to use because I love the three. <laughs> And um, I decided to go for that middle fairy right there and the cricket. So I'm gonna speed through this part and make sure that you check in the top right corner when I am coloring because that's where I am going to put what 
Copic marker I am using to color at the moment. They are also all listed below in the description box. Now that my images are colored, I'm gonna fuzzy cut around them and build our car. Here I have my car base. I have chosen black cardstock. I usually do either black cardstock, white cardstock is my go-to colors for car bases. I am gonna glue this down with my Barely Art glue and then I am going to use a foam tape for my images. And this is how my car turned out. Now let's take a look at how it looks in the dark. Wow, I love it. This is how it looks in the dark. So cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.